how to form lasting weight loss habits. You know, to really lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life, you have to realize that losing weight with habits is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And the way you create that lifestyle is by creating the habit of doing what it requires you to do to remove the weight and then keep it off. Forming a habit is hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hard. If you're still forming a habit and it's still hard, don't worry. It will be hard tomorrow and the next day too. One day you'll wake up and it won't be hard anymore. It will just be who you are and who you've become. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. You know, that's so important. Let's, let's tell you that again. Motivation is what gets you started. You want to lose the weight. You want to finally win the struggle. And once you form the habit of eating the right foods, of going out for walks, of drinking your water, habit is what keeps you going. Absolutely. And what is a habit? Most of the choices we make each day may feel like the products of well-considered decision-making, but they're not. They're habits. And though each habit means relatively little on its own, over time, the meals we order, whether we save or spend, how often we exercise, and the way we organize our thoughts and workout routines have numerous impacts on our health, productivity, financial security, and habit, habitness. You know, you can go with good habits and you can go with bad habits. And obviously, our obesity and weight problems and health problems have been caused by bad habits, not by good habits. How to form a good habit? Bad habits are easy to make but extremely hard to end. Take smoking, for instance. Good habits, on the other hand, take to take, tend to take more time to make. Luckily, scientists agree that the average person needs at least three weeks, 21 days, to form a good habit. Know what you want. If you can perfect visualize the habit you in your head, the work will be easier. Make a list of the benefits of your new habit. Commit to the habit. Set your own goals and reward yourself. Start slowly. Go for consistency rather than performance. Consult a friend. Even after your goals are set, don't stop. Because this could be the day you stop doing that self-destructive thing you do. Now, what does it all mean? First, you have to visualize yourself at the weight you want to be. You want to visualize the future to your new eating habits. How you're going to keep away from high carbs and go with low carb, high fat meal plan. Commit to the habit. Set your own goals, not my goals, your cousin's goals, your wife's goals, your boyfriend's goals, your wife's goals, your husband's goals. Your goals. Start slowly. Because, you know, if you overdo it, you're not going to do it. Go for consistency rather than performance. A little bit every day and keep multiplying and increase it. Talk to a pal. Have a weight loss buddy. Even after your goals are set, don't stop. Because this is a life project, not a one month, not a diet. Why carbohydrates matter to you? Over the last 10 years, opinions have ranged widely on carbohydrates. Some diets promote carbs as healthy while others shun them. So are carbohydrates good or bad? The short answer, they're both. There are good carbs and bad carbs. Carbs are everywhere. Carbs are not just bread, rice, or pasta. All the following foods are examples of carbohydrates. Breads and cereals, rice and pasta, nuts and seeds, vegetables and fruit, milk and dairy, juice and soda, candy and desserts. Complex carbohydrates are good. Why? Because carbohydrates are also referred to as complex carbohydrates. Their chemical structure and fibers require our body to work harder to digest and energy is released over a longer time. You don't get that spike in your sugar. 
For the most part, good carbs are in their natural state or very close to it, including whole grain breads, cereals, and pastas. Whole grain breads, bran cereal, green vegetables, fresh fruits, they're good for you. Simple carbs are bad. Why? They mean by simple is they turn to sugar the immediate they, re- they enter your body. Simple carbs, carbohydrates, are smaller molecules of sugar that are digested quickly into our body. The energy stored as glycogen in our cells, and if not used immediately, gets converted to fat. Let's repeat that again. And if not used immediately, gets converted to fat. Bad carbs are generally processed carb foods. They have been stripped of their natural nutrients and fiber to make them more consumer friendly. By whom? by the food industry. They put out this cheap food, get a big profit on it, and they're causing our country to become an obese country. The glycemic index. Carbohydrates are all essentially sugars our body converts to glucose, which is blood sugar, which is stored for energy. The glycemic index measures how much a particular food raises your blood sugar level when you eat it. High GI is bad carbs, low GIs are good carbs. Why? Because low carbs are digested and absorbed slower, which produces a gradual rise in blood sugar. They have benefits for weight control because they help control appetite and delay hunger. You know, we've all suffered that horrendous thing like we're going to die if we don't eat. And it's all because of that sugar spike. Look at that diagram there with the one, uh, one hour of the sugar high and how it comes down so fast. It says, uh, high GI foods are quickly digested and absorbed. This rapid fluctuation in flood blood sugar levels have often been called a sugar crash, which leaves you feeling tired and hungry faster. You know, the old story about you eat Chinese and a half hour later, you're hungry. Choose healthier carbs. One of the best ways to improve your diet is to choose healthier carbs. Below are common categories of carbs listed along a GI scale. Basically, if you want to really get your glucose down and your GI good carbs going, keep away from breads and cereals, anything made from white flour. Keep away from pasta. Keep away from rice. In beverages, keep away from anything that's high high caloric. Don't have any fruit juices. And and fruits, only have fruits that are low in the glycemic index, like cherries or apples. Vegetables, don't don't go for potatoes, don't eat corn, don't, don't even eat sweet potato. You don't need any of that. And snacks, Keep away from all the pretzels, jelly beans, popcorn, oatmeal cookies, Snickers bars, especially M&M's, peanuts, and peanuts in general. You know, you don't have to struggle against weight. It'll come off if you get rid of those high caloric carbohydrates that you are taking into your body today. And to help you, we are making available the complete guide to the ketogenic diet to discover the low carb difference. We're holding the price at only $19.95 and it comes with quite a few items beyond just the book. Go to SaturdayMorningDiet.com Ketogenic Diet ebook. Get your copy today and get the, the rules and the system that will help you finally win your struggles against weight loss. End the obesity, protect yourself against diabetes, and share this with everyone in your world. Bye-bye. See you on the next video. Hope you take advantage of this information and share with everyone. <laughs>